Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my August BoxyCharm unboxing. And as per usual, I've already seen everything that is in here just because I am going to be trying on everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and get on into it. This month's theme is totally. And everything's like pink. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff. And here is pink. The first thing I'm going to be trying on is this Pure and Barbie Glittery Brightening Pill-Off Mask. I am not a fan of pill-off masks. They hurt me whenever I take them off, so uh, I really don't like them. I'm going to try it out because, you know, this one might change my mind. But, you know, this is what it is. And this right here retails for $26.00. And it says right here, create in celebration of the 60th anniversary of Barbie. This mask is packed with licorice extract. <laughs> yeah. Skin nourishing green tea, vitamin B, ginseng, and 26 key botanicals to help brighten the skin appearance without unwanted irritation for a visibly renewed complexion. The non-plastic glitter formula helps deliver immediate radiance for a healthy looking glow that lasts. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this on. And then once this right here is on my face, I'll show you all the other products. And then I'll take this off and we will try on the other products. Where's my mirror? Alright, so this is pink with glitter. It's very pretty. Like just... I don't know if you see that, but yeah, that, that's pretty. So I'm going to apply a generous amount just so, because it is a pill-off mask. I don't want to get too close to my hair, so I'm just going to stay away from that area. Alright, here is the mask. It says I have to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, so while I'm letting that dry, I did keep away from my hairline because I don't feel like torturing myself today. Anyways, while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything else that's in the box. Next thing is the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And this retails for $42. And it says the multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, youthful complexion. No matter what skin type you have, the lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use it one drop at a time. Now, whenever I first thought that we were going to get this in our BoxyCharm, wasn't too happy because I'm a very oily skinned person but I have seen unboxings and this actually seems to be very nice and it's for all skin types so I'm going to show you what it looks like it is pink there it is right there and I'm going to go ahead and feel what that feels like yeah it doesn't feel like an oil it feels like a serum and it is drying pretty fast into the hand, which I like that as well. So yeah, I will probably use this like as a primer today, not gonna lie. So I'll be using that because the last box that I had, we had that one uh, pour no problem thing from Salt, Touch and Salt and I really like that, like really like that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna use this as a primer day. Next is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara, and this retails for $23. I do have two open mascaras because I don't like to open a lot of mascaras just because it takes me a while to go through them. I do have two open, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one because those are drying out and they'll be, they'll be done by next month if that, if it even takes that long. It might be even sooner, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this one and try it out for you guys. The next thing in this box that I was extremely excited for was this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Now I did see that we were going to get this as a sneak peek or a spoiler. And they had two different shades. They had the regular and a bronze color. And I got the regular. I'm not going to open it right now. I'm just going to show you what, just what it looks like right there. 
but I'm gonna be opening it whenever I do apply this to my face. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. And the last thing I got in here, the thing that I'm not going to be putting on today is the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes right here. And I'm not sure. Instagram is, I'm sure what the name of the actual lashes are. I don't really apply lashes very much, so I don't have like glue, eyelash glue to put on. So for that reason, I'm not gonna try them on today. But you know, I do want to get into it. Just, you know, I fear lashes. So yeah, that is everything in the box. And did I tell you what that was worth? Yeah, $14.99, probably not, I don't think so. Oh, and the uh, Becca one is $39. Did I tell you everything else? This right here was $42. This right here was $26. And I'm pretty sure I told you the Big Ego Tarte Mascara was $23. And I'm going to go ahead and see how much the box was worth. This box this month was worth $144.99, which that's insane. So yeah, um, so far I like everything that's in here except for uh, the pill-off mask, but we will try that out in just a minute and see how it comes off. So I have a few more minutes before this is dry, it's still wet, and I will be right back for that. Hey guys, I am back and it has been way longer than 15 minutes and it could be because I layered too much on the outside. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been like 20, 25 minutes and it's still not completely dry here, but we're gonna go with it because I got places to go and people to see. So right here, I'm gonna start with the forehead and I've already like peeled off a little piece right there because this was one of the first things that dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel that off. All right, actually that was not painful at all. Not one bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen because this is not completely dry. We're just gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's not dry all the way. Ugh, that's gonna get me. So I just have to wash that off, I guess. No, see, it's, mm. And this mask actually doesn't hurt at all. As you can tell by the way I'm talking, it got extremely tight around the mouth area. Like, extremely tight. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there and let that dry. Hopefully it dries a little bit more. See, that's still wet over there. But you guys, this doesn't hurt at all. Hmm. See, this is the mask I can actually work with. Yeah, I could. If I can get every little piece off. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this off and do my eye makeup, and I will be back for the next product I'm gonna be trying on. All right, I am back with the next product, but before I get into it, I wanna talk about this just a little bit more. Surprisingly, you guys, I really enjoyed this. It did not hurt coming off, and I do see a difference in my skin, softness, of course, and then it did uh, clean up some of my pore areas. But the one thing I should let you know is on my face, there's leftover glitter. So I don't know if that would be something that you would like or not, but it's just everywhere all over my face is just the leftover glitter. But I still really enjoyed this product. Next on to the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And like I said, I'm just gonna be using this as a primer today. And I'm trying not to put my mirror into the way. I'm just going to apply just a little bit right here and a little bit right here to start off with. Don't want to apply too much. Okay. 
it absorbs very quickly. I don't know if I see, do I? Yeah, I, I guess I do. I see a little bit of illuminating, but not like bad illuminating for me because you know where I'm oily. It's just a nice glow to the skin. And I enjoy that actually. So yeah. And for the reasons why I have some pores, I'm gonna go ahead with a pore filling primer. And that is this little tart here. It's the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And I'm just gonna do this just around my nose area. And I'll just apply just a very little bit, not much at all. All right, and it feels, it doesn't feel sticky it feels a little bit tacky just just ever so slight not not bad at all maybe that would help adhere my foundation on we'll see but it's completely dry it it's so hard it's like it's matte but it still gives you a little bit of glow i don't know i like this and hopefully i like this as a primer because that's probably what i would be using it for anyway so yeah um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and I'll be right back with the next product and also tell you how the foundation went on over this product right here. All right, I'm back with my foundation done and you guys, my foundation looks so freaking good on top of this. So I would probably be using this as a primer and I, oh, oh, I like the way it looks. So yeah excited to try that out a little bit more and next product that i'm the most excited for is this becca powder right here and we're gonna go ahead and open it recently i've been applying my powders with a damp sponge that's what this looks like oh uh, let's see let's try not to spill it But I'm going to be applying this with a brush today and I'm going to apply it all over first on the under eyes I'm trying to get too much ah oh, yes that's so amazing it feels like wet on the skin I'm assuming like the cooling sensation is from it feeling wet because some people say they feel like the cooling sensation some say they feel the wet and I like the way it looks a lot that's so cool I like it try not to get my mirror in the way I'm sorry Oh, I like that a lot. All right, let me take this smaller brush and just do around my T-zone real quick. And then I'll take a bigger brush for my rest of my face. Oh my gosh. I do not know how they do that. But I fear for me being oily, if this will actually last on my face or not. But we will see. All right, now on to a bigger brush. It dries down to a powder, even though I mean it, it's a powder, but I mean it just feels wet. But it dries down. As long as it holds up on me all right and that is the powder i'm impressed with it but i knew i i would be because of all of the reviews that i saw on it so far with the box charm unboxing so yeah this was my um 
product that I was looking most forward to got hair <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face and I'll be back with the Tarte mascara which lately I've been doing that as my last step so just hang on tight all right I am back with the last product and that is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Now you guys, please do not judge me for how I apply mascara. I suck at mascara and I'm pretty sure on camera I'm gonna suck even more. This is what the bristles look like, the wand. All right, and that is everything you guys. I really enjoyed everything in this box. Of course, besides, you know, the lashes, but I'm sure I'll like this. I just need to practice with those a little bit more, but everything else I really do love and enjoy. This was one of the better boxes that I have received. Yeah, it's really good. Anyways, yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you. Bye.